Hello, and I'm Ryan from Tetra Football, and today I'm joined by Tom, Joe, and George. And today we'll be making our tier list on current Premier League managers. Right. So uh, first up is Scott Parker up. of Bournemouth. Yeah. Awful. Awful. Oh, that's a sharp. Um, he, he got relegated with Fulham, I believe. Yeah, Fulham already. And he went to Bournemouth. Didn't even win the championship, really. Yeah. Um, I, I just don't think he reached the heights of uh, another manager if they were to perform the job at Bournemouth. What about you, Tom? No, I'd have to agree with you. Awful. He hasn't done too much, really. He even got Fulham relegated, as you said, so I don't think he's going to do that great and probably get. He could even get relegated with Bournemouth. He's, right? got, he's got clubs relegated. I don't think he's got a particularly great reputation. I'd personally say meh, just because he hasn't done much. Maybe poor, if you're pushing yeah, it. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of agreed with Orford, actually, because, yeah, he got Fulham relegated. Bournemouth in the Championship, he didn't even win the Championship. And he just hasn't been that great all round, really. Better player than manager. Yeah, um, the England, like, definitely overrate him. Like, the England press overrate him as a manager. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so now we've got Mikel Arteta of Arsenal. Very good for I me. He's a very good manager, yeah. Mm. He's made some excellent signings this season, I mean. What about you, Tom? I'll probably... Oh, actually, I don't want to say that. That's not a bit bummer. Mm. No, but it's not bummer. Yeah, it's not Yeah, it's Because I think he's a quality manager, even though he spent, like, half a billion since he's been there. Whoa. He's still a quality manager with a... I mean, he's in play style, really. So, where would you put um, Very good. In all honesty, um, call me biased, but I don't think it is really. Uh, I think Arsenal fans would definitely agree with me. Uh, he is a bit inconsistent. Like, you definitely know, he, inconsistent. He's, yeah, well, he's got a young He squad wins as games, well, he loses games. He, he's got a great patch toward the end um, of the last season, but then, of course, he went through rough patches as well. I think he is a decent manager, but um, yeah, well, he's, a, he's just inconsistently. He's a very good manager. He, he's perfect for Arsenal. He's got a young squad, yeah. young manager. A team like that's obviously going to have some rough patches in it and I think he's doing a very good job and is a very good manager and will probably be an excellent manager in the future. So you get very good I do away. have I to say, uh, watching that All or Nothing Arsenal uh, documentary was quite funny because it was labelled as a comedy, but it gave us an insight into his uh, helpfulness with the squad, like encouraging them, especially with Saka after missing the penalty. It shows he has got the quality to really motivate his players. So, was that three very good, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and that's what we're going to go with. I went for good. So what? Yeah, Kimmels is up next. Okay, um... Steven Gerrard. No, Scouser stereotype. We've mm. got Steven Gerrard or Aston Villa now. I think he's just a good manager. He, he did a very good job at Rangers, and it hasn't gone probably as well as Villa fans, and he would have hoped at Villa yet, so I think he's just good. I'd say I'm very good or if you're pushing it excellent because of what he did at Rangers, you know, made history winning the um, the title for the first time in, in many, many years there. And then he's come to Aston Villa, he's punched above his weight, so I think... Uh, I mean, they can't be... They did finish 14th last season. Yeah, so true. Really. But you can't really be expecting much as a Villa fan in the, the fierce Premier League, but um, I'll go very good all together. I'll probably go with good. I think he's, he's an all-line manager, but he hasn't done too much considering last season, they didn't finish that high up. But this season, they could obviously improve, which... Yeah, I would put him in You're good. You're not funny. Uh, because, uh, I mean, he's, he's done too many good signs to be 14th in the Premier League for me. But I think his work with Rangers really does push him up that uh, tier. Do you I think to have a proper opinion on this, we kind of need to have the next full season of him actually as manager. That's true, yeah. True. So, there's kind of a... Dean Smith was sacked early... Yeah. I do apologise to any Scouse viewers. I just wanted to make a bit of fun. And you're not funny at all. Funny, so you shouldn't, shouldn't have done it. Um, we've got quite a nice line. Oh, for... We've got Thomas Frank of Brentford. You have no fun. I think he's pretty meh to be honest, Thomas Frank. He's um. Mm, yeah, I don't think he's good. He's as good as the other managers in the league, and I think next season we'll probably see him suffer from second season syndrome. Realistically, mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think there's better in the league, so I think meh is definitely. Fair. I mean. When you think of a good Premier League manager, you don't think of him. If you think of an average one, you think, yeah, he can get some good results, but he also has some very poor games. Yeah, Brentford are on a really bad run of form before they signed Ericsson in January. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. So that's why I think Mayor is a good uh, well, opinion. Like, yeah, he's just average Joe Smith of the managers, really. So I just think of Mayor. He's not he's just an average Manager, Alright, so we're going to go for Thomas Frank in meh. We've got Graham Potter of Brighton is our next uh, I think he's just a good manager. Yes. Not too special, not 
Um, I know we guys play opinions. This, well, we always I, do when it's a, gonna, it's a gonna, manager yeah. of the I just got to say, Tom, I think he's awful. I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding, just because you're a Brighton fan. Personally, I think he's actually very good. Not, not England just good. England press overrate him. England I think, press overrate no, him. No, I think he could definitely you got manage. you saying he should be the England manager. He could definitely not, manage the England yeah, squad. Considering um, the, the fact that big teams like even Man United and, and Tottenham and even Wolves Being at one point with him. were linked with him, I think that They're does make him very good Hassan manager. Hassan linked to him and you wouldn't pay him at the same level, would you? Mm. But I don't. I wouldn't trust. It. Obviously, you know none of those clubs these days with Ten Hag and Conte. And all, none of them are going to be taking Graham Potter over there. I would. The I would time, take uh, but, Potter over but, Ten Hag. But, but he's changed. You've yeah, seen how much he's changed the squad since he's been there. So I think that's just going to make. But I would say very good. And yeah, very, very good. good. Very good. I just put good. So I think very good. No, not too far. Outweighed, from you, then, George. Uh, we got Tuchel. Sorry, when I made this tier list, I like I thought I found a perfect picture of Tuchel, but apparently I didn't because Tier Maker wants to crop his head off. Um, uh, well, excellent manager for me. And we've got this yeah, I'd agree with excellent. He's, just, he's come, that level below the top manager in, in the leagues. We were quarterfinals of the Champions League, and he led us to win that Champions League against all odds. Um, yeah, to be honest, like Chelsea has been very successful. Uh, I, I'd say very good, to be honest. I, I agree with excellent. He, I think he's just that level below God, to be fair. like yeah. He's a very good, solid defensive coach, and if he can coach his team to maybe attack that bit better, score some more goals, Definitely. he could probably be God. So. I, as a Chelsea fan, I would love him to get us more attacking. Tom, what's, what's your take? Even though I don't really like Chelsea, I'm still going to put him in excellent as... For, for the club, he's done a lot for. for yeah, yeah. Improved him. I think mean, he contributed a lot, but yeah. similar. Uh, I just can't help but um, remember his history at PSG and, and the failure there. Of course, winning the league, conceding to Lille, who uh, managed to pick him at the post there, and of course his poor Champions League runs. But he came to Chelsea and he, he pulled it off. To be fair, he might be a little bit crazy, but um, I'd say very good. You three have said excellent, so I guess that's pretty good. Vieira. Of Crystal Palace. I think I he's, he's could, meh for me. I think you Ooh. could put. I think you could put really? him very good. Yeah. Like, I, I would, what that really? Palace team was stale. It was old. It was boring. It was bland. But since he's come in, there's like that extra sort of spice to it. Almost. Correct. Like they're a, okay, they're like a fiery team. They're the strong. They're young. They're just going for games. They're trying to beat the big teams. And Tom, the Brighton fans, were you going to put him in poor or no, something? No, I'm putting him but... in good for maybe. I will put him higher, but I need to see him for another season just to see how good it's he true. is. Really. Just when he came in, I would put him in awful. Just said he's a pundit, not a manager. He can't be put. Yeah, most people weren't convinced by him, but he's group. proved them wrong. But like, what more could you ask? I think he better than any other um, manager in the league. Really, he's gelled with the players so well. He, he's got the players on his side, and they're all like kind of. You know, respectful toward him. I think uh, I'd say yeah. he's very good. I think he's a very good manager. Oh, I, I think Mayor. Good. I mean, yes, he, he's been good this season, but I think it's been too short to really say he's good to very good. I mean, any any average Joe could probably walk into a Prem squad with talent like Crystal no, he's Palace have. He remade that team. Though. And uh, he didn't have that talent. Yeah, he, yeah he's the manager. His stature, I'm sorry, but. His stature made those players want to join Palace. If without a, him, they wouldn't have wanted to join. Yeah. He spent a lot of as well. In that season, that they, should we meet in the middle and say good? Yeah, I'll be happy with good. 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 Yeah, because me and George say very good. good. You'd be happy with very good. He says, okay. We've got Lampard of Everton now. Poor. Yeah, right. poor manager. He had his chance at Chelsea, didn't do that well. And... I mean, I think he just took that job too early. Like, why would you did. take your dream manager? He definitely job? Like took that manager. job. Only he only got offered that job because obviously his legacy at yeah, Chelsea. He hasn't done anything. Uh, that's why I, I think he's not done much for Everton. I think he gets sacked quite early on after mm. poor start. He was lucky season. to not get Everton relegated because Burnley sacked Sean Dyche. To be honest, I think as a manager, he hasn't done much convincing work at all. And even looking at Scott Parker, I think that he is kind of that sort of same sort of level. He, uh, Chelsea, he was very very bad. I mean, yeah, I guess he helped out the youngsters a bit, but he wasn't great. Um, and Everton, look where he's got them. He's turned them into a relegation level team. What would yeah, you say, so Tom? I'm probably going to put him in poor. I might, I might go for awful, but I'm going to stick with poor, really, because he hasn't done too much. I mean, he just about kept Everton up, so he hasn't. Yeah. Are we going to agree on poor? I think poor is kind of the. Should we say poor is the yeah. general yeah, consensus? Yeah, definitely. Poor. Yeah, he's just not done much in his management career. It's too early to judge him almost. I think the poor is uh, the way that we're going, sir. 
that's uh, where we're going to put it. All right, Marco Silva, Fulham. What, what do you think? Sorry about this. Uh, yeah, Tom, what do you think? What well, do you think he, he got um, Fulham up, really, but I haven't seen too much of him. Because I think, I mean, it depends how well he does in the Prem, as we'll see the following season, really. <coughs> yeah, right, I just put him there. Personally, would yeah, put him right. there. I mean, yes, he, he's probably got quite a lot of inspirational quotes to get the players motivating. <laughs> what are you <laughs> about? What but he's, I just don't think he's got the tactics to really help the squad. <laughs> what are you on about? You have a board of fights. You've got George Washington, Winston Churchill, Mark okay, so Ryan, Ryan, you'll just establish his... He just waffles. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, I, I'd honestly put him in poor because yeah. I think he's a very Zisco story. He's Zisco at Watford when he brought them up. He looked good in the Championship, got sacked within a matter of weeks in the Premier League. I think it's going to be a very, very similar story. Yeah, I, I think not see him I, doing too well. Yeah, I agree. He's a poor manager, like... He got. He was really bad at Everton. Like he let Liverpool just roll roll them over, basically, which is not what you want in the Everton manager. Mm-hmm. And he also he's one of those managers that Fulham actually got sacked. Nothing more of it. And he did do well in the Championship last season, but I don't think he'll do well this season. I think overall he's just a poor manager. So we've got two on poor, two on mess. So we're gonna have to fight to the. Uh... Oh, you know what? I'll put him down in poor. I mean, his inspirational quotes pretty good, but <laughs> his tactics not so good. And Tom, I guess Ryan thinks he's a clown. We've got Jesse Marsh of Leeds. Poor. <laughs> What's he done wrong? For me, <laughs> he's not got the inspirational quotes. I'm only kidding. I just don't think he's got the tactics. I mean, he's lost his two best players, and I don't think you just do. You just don't let that happen. You try fight to keep them. Yeah, before you continue on this, I'd like to point out he was actually given a job at Red Bull Leipzig, the bigger of the Red Bull franchise clubs, mm. and. He did awful and he got sacked pretty quickly. So. Exactly. Yeah. He's not really got like the tactics. Level, maybe he America can't do it after all. That was really bad. So that was awful. Oh, I know. I'm a clown. Um, He's just awful. You're just yeah, trying to be a clown. That's pathetic. Horrible. So why are you putting Jesse Marsh? Uh, I'll probably put him in there. Meh. Meh. I'll give him mess. He did keep yeah. leads up. They had a nice little bit of fun I think that he, at the end. We're going to have to wait. I think that he's actually see, brought more life to the else. We see him this season. He does well probably up higher. we got Brendan Rodgers. Of oh, Leicester, I'm a very good manager, maybe even excellent. Oh you no, think, you're rating him too. He's aren't going you? stale now. He's, he's getting a bit bored of the club. <laughs> <by> <laughs> he's, he's going stale yeah. like the Walkers Crisp in Leicester. I would put him good. I mean, he started really, really well for Leicester, but I think they're just going downhill, losing some of their best players, and Tom. I just think yeah, his I think tactics just, can't really help him. Good because he. I mean, to start with, it was really well, but now he keeps on declining, going down, down and down. So I would have said good, be but, but in yeah. comparison on that table, yeah. if you look at those very good managers, Arteta and Potter, I don't think you could honestly say that Brendan Rodgers is any worse than either of those two. So. Yeah. Oh, I would... He's better than the You've managers. Got to He's better than the history history in good as well. He is definitely better than Vieira and Steven Gerrard, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'd, I'd, argue, I'd argue... Well, he's definitely better than Potter, I can say that. He's definitely better than Potter. I'm, I'm getting on... the feeling you don't like Brighton and yeah. Albion. So would I you, do, but then he's, he's, he's would you great, settle yeah. for very good, or are we gonna have to fight? Oh, I think he's good. I'm he's sorry, good. you've you've rated yeah, him too highly. So we've the got a what got a promotion. Like oh, I think he he is the same <coughs> level. Yeah, exactly. He did as get them. Steven Gerrard. He did win them the FA Cup. Yeah. He won them the FA Cup. That's how I'm stupid. That's another manager now. And mid and Leicester were slipping back into mid table after their title season before he came in. He got them all the way yeah. up into Europe. Fifth in the Premier League is no joke. So semi finals of the. Yeah. Oh no, it's Conference League. I was going to say Europa. Yeah, it's Conference League. It's, yeah, it's, right. mu- it's much better than the other managers in good. Yeah. He's definitely much better. He's done well to continue the Leicester legacy following their league win. So well, I would say very good. What would you say? Yeah, I mean, good I'll not. say good. Jurgen Klopp what? up next. I mean, so you're settling very good, are you? Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. But well. Jurgen, god tier manager. He's got to be. I'm not. He's got to be. Oh, you can't what? say he's not. God tier. Okay. What are you on about? I think why, is the, why is that? Explain yourself. I mean, it, it, no, it seems no, no. you're outweighed, but explain. No, yourself. no, no. I don't mean he's not god tier manager. I don't think you can immediately go god tier. He don't... is though. Uh, what I argument is that? there that he's not? Why, why, uh, why he not? is a god tier manager, but you don't immediately go god tier. You've got to explain yourself. Why did you, okay. yeah. you say no <laughs> then? You almost don't need to explain it. It's just that obvious. For me, he's good because it, well, when he was brought in, the players weren't. Well, they were like eighth in the league when he came in. And look what he's done yeah. to that club. Yeah. 
He's transformed yeah. it. I mean, with a little bit of help from the money and the players. He's, even, he's even earned loads of money for the but club. He brings he in some money. Yeah, but I guarantee you, really I guarantee you, you're going to go Guardiola, Porter, awful. Just because that, he's though. got the money too. I'm not saying that, though. So, uh, God tier, I think, yeah. He's, we, we, yeah, we, he's we definitely God tier. That. But I, I just think, if you put Guardiola not in God it's just not well, fair. We'll get on to that, Ryan. We're okay, not talking well, about Guardiola yet. Are we still talking about Klopp or are we going to move on to the other? Klopp is just on. the best manager in the league. What are you saying? Oh, of course, that, that, the Liverpool our, fans We can that. argue with that, but um, but he is definitely top two. But you're, you're going to go, Conte is the best manager in the league. No, we're, he's we're not. We're not talking about Conte. He's, he's over here. Uh, Guardiola. So start with George's point of view because uh, well, Ryan was so desperate to hear it. <laughs> I don't... I don't think he's God because oh, like the, the, the financial backing he's had is ridiculous. He spends like sixty million on about three players every single summer. You can't say Klopp at Liverpool has been given anywhere near that. Like how much did you spend on Nunes? Nunes. Yeah, what one new signing after not signing anyone for about three transfer you, windows? You signed, which means the club was saving yeah, up. Yeah, but he's investing with his money because he's been given the opportunity. If, if Jurgen Klopp invested with his money. And that's how he got his success. You, you wouldn't you, say he's a terrible manager. Why are you, manager so just of why are you defending Guardiola? There's not any Man City fans watching because they don't exist. I'm Peter. just saying you can't call him a bad manager because that's the cards he's dealt with. So what would you? What tier would you put him in? Uh, probably just very good. He hasn't done anything to prove me that he's good. Do you know what? Every club he's gone to, he's been brought in to win the Champions League. He's been brought into clubs that already win their domestic league, but he's brought in to win the Champions League, and he hasn't done that. At Bayern, his job was to win the Champions League. He didn't do that. At City, they'd already won the league the season before. His job was to win the Champions League. He hadn't done that. Exactly. Yeah, but he's not had a striker. Now he's brought in a striker. That's his own fault. That's nothing to do with him. That's literally nothing to do with him. He he gets given like 200 million every window. He can't convince a striker to draw. He plays football like it's bloody FIFA. I can't stand him. That's why I'm putting him in there. Because he's never done anything convincing. He's been to Bayern, he's been to Barca when they're already winning stuff. Now he's done it at City as well. What has he done? That's he's bleeding your eyes. He hasn't, he hasn't done anything without Messi in his team. How has he not won the Champions he's League? A high, he's a high mason of it's manager. It's hard to not win the Champions League with Man City. And he's but, somehow managed it, so he can't yeah. be a very good manager. The difference between Klopp and Guardiola is you could put Klopp in a lower down team and he would still get results he's out gone. of it. No, he if you wouldn't. Gave to, if you gave him to Pep, exactly. then, then he, he wouldn't do anything. He'd need okay. the board to spend 300 million. In the last five years, Klopp has managed to get his team to the Champions League like final eighth in three, the Premier League. three times in the last five years into the Champions yeah, League give, final. Give how, many, how, many, how many times have they won it? Once. What? Chelsea got... How many okay. times has City won it so with why's, Guardiola? Why is Tuchel not in God tier? Because he got their Champions because it's League. Not been a long he's won the same yet. amount of... Because he, because he was time against time. the ball fraud himself. Guardiola. That's why we're arguing against Guardiola. I'll probably put him in excellent. Against any other team, he might have lost, but because he's against the fraud. I put him in excellent. Yeah. He's not got here, but you can't call him a fraud. Yeah, I said excellent. I might have said very good. You accident, said very good. But so I meant excellent. I'd put him just for team. Yeah, oh, but yeah. meh, that's just insulting. I think I think this insulting put him that high, but I guess I got to agree. Um, Ten Hag. I think if if these two are in excellent, could we put? No, no, no. no. How is Ten Hag comparing to Tuchel and Guardiola? Um, I think I think he'll it, be very good. We haven't seen him in. We the haven't seen him in action. That's the, that, that's the point. And the fact he's got a club like Ajax, he's done very good. To at the Ajax. Champions League semi-finals, and then again to what was it last year? The quarterfinals. It was the round right, of oh, no, Benfica. Benfica, got Benfica, that, Benfica. Yeah. yeah. But okay, semi-finals. But to be fair, he's had all his, he's had all he's his players excellent. sold from him every single window. Exactly. He's, he's been raided. Um, so it's a bit unfair. <laughs> But it, the, what he's done with a team like that is bad, uh, and it'd be very interesting to see him. He's, he's got to be very good because he's not he's proven himself. He yet. hasn't done anything in the Premier League. So. It's but very hard to rank a manager where we yeah. have seen. Oh, I'm sorry, but the only thing you can fair with good. Guardiola and job. Ten Hag is their lack of hair. You can't you can't say Guardiola is a worse man than manager or on the same level as Ten Hag. I would, but... That's just disrespectful. <laughs> Are we saying very good, Tom? What's your opinion on Ten Hag? I'll Ten probably Hag's put him in, aren't they? Good, maybe very good actually, but I haven't seen him, so I can't really base too much. Yeah, right, I think very good is kind of the consensus here. We've got... He has done a very good job at Ajax, just not like uh, he Eddie... hasn't proved it anywhere else yet. So Eddie Howe, gotta wait. Eddie Howe, I mean, I would say good. He revolutionised the yeah. uh, Newcastle squad. Has he? Yeah, really. They, they, they were going to get relegated. It's more to do with yeah, the Saudis. No. Yes, he, really. he hasn't done that. It's the Saudis. If, it was, so if, the, money, if yeah. the Saudis did come along, do you think he solely would have pulled them out of the relegation? Yes, because they were already yeah. performing before the transfer window. 
He had already changed that team for the transfer window, and the signings just helped. Obviously, it wouldn't have been as good as it was without someone good. like Gamora's yeah. coming in. We still lose the games 4 1 and 5 1 and all that, which he was. I'd just say, I'll put him in good. Well, yeah, I'll put him in good. You know, I would argue they're good. He took Bournemouth from like League Two financial ruin all the way up to the Premier League, and if it wasn't for a dodgy VAR decision, they would have stayed up instead of Villa anyway, and he would have still probably been there in the Premier League now. And if you think about it, he's just done a solid job everywhere he's gone. He only had like a bad stint at Burnley maybe ten years ago, but like other than that, he's, he did, he was amazing at Bournemouth. Very Newcastle, good. Newcastle, and they've already changed. Like they've already changed under him. He's very good, but himself. you can't compare him to the likes of Mikel Arteta. Um, can you not? You can though. Graham Potter, no. Brendan Rodgers. You're Rogers, saying you can't compare? Ten I'm sorry. You're saying you can't you, you compare? Can, you can definitely Graham compare Graham him. Potter. Yeah, you, you can can't. definitely no, compare him to Potter. Potter hasn't yeah. yeah. got a billion. I'm, I'm going to look at these like managers and think that these two are absolutely. They are making very good. Who? These two are making very good. Arteta is not. I don't you think you seriously trying to say two. Arteta's not I think very Arteta's good? I'm saying, Arteta's can, can you compare these two to those two? I, I haven't. I can I can compare Brendan Rodgers to anyone in Eddie good. Howe is on the same level as Potter because he had the exact isn't. same links to big clubs when he was doing well with Bournemouth. Yeah, but we still always start Has Brighton ever been relegated under Graham Potter? No. Exactly. Bournemouth, 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 got, got, relegated. Relegated. Bournemouth relegated. got relegated because of failed technology. That's yes, not his but fault. they also lost many other games. Yeah, and that's because yes. his best player, Ryan Fraser, just refused to play because he didn't want to get injured. It's like golden selfish. balls. Um, do... <laughs> we need to make a decision. Tom, um, which tier would you put him in? Uh, very good. Good. Uh, good. Ryan, what tier would you put him in? George, what tier would you put him in? Very good manager. No, he's not. Not a chance. Uh, okay, good. Steve Cooper. <laughs> Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's instantly what I think. He's a bit of a frog, but I, I would put him meh. Because... I think he's a good manager. Good, I'd say. I, I, I'd say very good. I think he's a good manager. I mean, I think it's unfair to put him in good. Like, actually, no, no. Actually, no. What we're talking about. Yeah, I'd put him in good because I was, I was thinking, yes, he's, a, he's got promoted from the championship, but the FA Cup run did show they can play against the Premier League yeah. side, so mm. that's why I'd put him yeah. in good. And yeah. some of his best. Like some of the best English talents at the moment have all worked under him at like Cooper, Swansea yeah. and he was at Liverpool as well and and the, one of the best and, the England, uh, and like the England and the no, no, teams when they won the World Cup Spence you know yeah I mean I would have said very good at first because of the FA Cup run and the the concession of goals being very very low but at the same time I I think good because I just remember like, they finished in the league sixth fifth yeah they didn't like get to quite the top of the league yeah, and they weren't so. up in playoffs and that's even with Spence so without him I don't know where they're gonna be. Um, so good, I think we agreed on. Good, is that where we go? Who's this guy? The Southampton manager. Hurt. I think he's just meh. Meh, definitely. <laughs> Without Ward Prowse, he would definitely be poor. poor for uh, I'm with Tom on this one. I'm gonna go poor. Um, so I'd give it's, him it's meh. a debate. It's meh. To be poor. fair, I'm actually I'm actually gonna change mine to poor because. It's not really about him. It's about without James Ward Prowse, he would definitely be in the poor. Because I think Ward Prowse has saved him quite a lot. I did well, like him. Like I six months ago. Little six months ago, I would have put him in good. But um, these days, I think, you know, what's happened to that team? Mm. Just, they just had I a mean, poor run of form at the end of the season. Like, think about it. A few years ago, they were top of the league at one point. He was and a when he's, great, great I mean, manager. When he's losing, um, you know... Game six so nil cool. and, and three one. And then he had Danny Ings sold from him as well. Like that was his star man. Also, exactly. Yeah, but plucked out the then top. then again they've lost nine nil for two years in a row. Like mm. I don't think a manager. And, yeah, but like the fact that, he can recover from that shows he's a good manager. True, and his very true. Though. That lack of points though. I won't say toward recover the, toward the end of the season. That lack of points kind of shows that you know when they were on that poor run of form, did he do anything to change that? Not really. No. Yeah, but he's, I think he's just mad. Like, there's nothing special about him. I'll admit that. There's nothing special to him. But he's not poor because he's a good enough manager to keep them up every season. Sometimes exceed their expectations by a lot. So I think he's there. He's been mad. outweighed. Well, we've got Antonio Conte. I'll excellent. I say excellent. As well. Yeah, excellent. Um, excellent. We've seen this out of various excellence. other jobs. He's won trophies out of a team. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Chelsea worked yeah. wonders. Of course, won them the yeah. league. Um, Inter, he's worked wonders. I think he won them the league. Juventus was he at as well at some point. Yeah, yeah. but Juventus yeah. was the it's last just, time they won the league. It's um, just a shame that he can't really do that at Tottenham. He's only he's been not there a few months. He's only been there a few months. He's only been there a few months. Yeah, but Tottenham aren't going to gonna win the. And he attracted league. players to Tottenham, so he's just an excellent manager. What he's done, yeah, I think the manager, the the um, the transfer 
news. Uh, he has been very, very key in getting those players. I, I mean, actually think if he had like two seasons there. with Tottenham and did really well in the Premier League, there's an argument for God there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think but not with, yet. with the likes of uh, Mourinho and Pochettino, we would never have signed players like you know Perisic and Basuma. But mm-hmm. all of a sudden, we've we've got a guy who can influence those players to come. Um, yeah, so. so I think excellent's fair. I think we agreed on excellent. Yeah. David Moyes. Well, I'm probably playing. Very good manager. Very Straight good. up. Very, very good. good. Mm, I'm, I'm yeah. Cause the West... Tottenham fans not not happy with the West Ham fans. I literally haven't said anything. Your, va- your facial experience, expression said all. Oh, the sun is in my could eyes. Be an yeah, West Ham were relegation fodder before he came in and then he took them all the way to Europe above United for most of the season. Yeah. yeah. So, like, he's just a very good manager. Exactly. You could argue excellent. Really. No, I don't think excellent. I think he's close, yeah, to, ex- think he's close, he's close to excellent, though. Right. I'll settle for very good, though, I think. Like, he's done definitely an, very he's good. He's done he's an incredible job. Yeah. I mean, he's got yeah. them to Europe. Once upon football. a time, I would say poor when he was at his older clubs when he was absolutely shocking. Yeah, well, he was really good at Everton then he went to United, did awful and that kind of... Yeah, but United are just awful. He managed to Re- re- revive Ham, his career. Yeah, West Ham. He has revived West Ham. His, his reputation. But he was very good at Everton before as well. Like he's clearly got it to the Premier League, and it shows he's evolving as a manager. The fact he can do it now and like twenty years ago of Everton. I think like, he just if he wins a trophy or something, good. he could be moved is into that, excellent. I we got that's the next step for him. Bruno Large of Wolves is our final stop. Uh, he's done all right. Good. I yeah. think he's a good yeah. manager. He's a good manager. Solid defensive coach. Did you Wolves say good? Have been I'll say good. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would I would okay. give him just about good comparing him. I would say the likes of the managers on good are I think we've overstated a couple of people in there. Like Steve Cooper, maybe too high. But I think he, he fits in with those crowd. I think that he's um you know, he's replaced Nuno. Quite, yeah. quite well. I think he's Wolves, Wolves are almost place, the same yeah. team and I would have put yeah. Nuno in good. So yeah, like, yeah. What, what has they happened to Nuno? Much. Um, he it? dropped off since the uh, top. No, moment. I don't think anyone's actually signed oh, him. He fell off. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's all right, Wolves. Well, why are we talking about Nuno? Uh, talk sorry, about yeah, sorry about yeah. that. Large, he's just a good manager. Like Wolves are practically the same team as they were under Nuno. So he's, he's probably just, he's doing a good job, and maybe even he's going to do a bit better when he gets a proper yeah. goal scorer. I he's, think he's probably the most forgettable manager in the league. I think Large is br- building a very big project yeah. at uh, Wolves. Bringing in some good players. Well, I think we'll have to see how that goes next season because we're the same one to predict yeah. them, what, 16th, 17th? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not um, sure how much you agree with that project. Yeah. Um, That's what I was about to say. That seems to be. I think he's trying to build a big project, but can he do it this season? That seemed to be transforming much or heading off very far, but um, I'm, I'm very I think, sorry I if he pronounced his name wrong. Where he goes. Yeah, I think. Good place. He just fits into good. That's where so, he goes. Uh, That's all of them. That's the end of our. Premier League managers. Tell us what you agree list. with and what you don't agree with in the comments down below. Let us know who you think is going to get sacked first. That oh, could be yeah. interesting. Who do you think? Quick, quick, go. Um, good old Frankie Lampard. Frankie Lampard, yeah. Um, Marco Silva. Scott Parker. Alright, no, that's... that's Bro, well, remember to like and subscribe.